All right, here we have another application problem, and this one is talking about consecutive even integers. So let's read through the problem first. If the first and third of three consecutive even integers are added, the result is 22 less than three times the second integer. Find the integers. All right, so let's think about what we know and what we're being asked to find. So think about, the, um, reread the question if you need to, and think about what are they asking us. They're asking us, or our actual question here is, to find the integers. So whenever we're done, we want to know, since there were three of them, what is our first integer, what's our second, and what's our third. So I'm going to let that guide me into uh, figuring out how I'm going to let set up my variables. Now, what else did they tell us that seemed to be important about this? They said cons three consecutive even integers. Well, let's think about what that is saying. What does it mean to be a consecutive even integer? Well, if it's an integer, we think about a number, sort of a whole number, but they can be negative also, right? But what does an even integer mean? Well, that means an even number, something that is divisible by 2. So things like 2, 4, 6, those would be even integers. Consecutive means that they are right in a row. So if I were to give an example of three consecutive even integers, it would be like something like 2, 4, 6, or maybe 10, 11, uh, 10, 12, 14. Sorry about that. Those would be examples of three consecutive even integers. Well, we're going to let that guide us into setting up our variables, which is always our next step. Since we don't know what any one of these integers is going to be, we have to let the first one be x, some unknown number. But now think about how you get from the first even integer to the next one. Aren't you adding 2 to get to the next even integer? So we're going to set up our variable and we're going to write it as x plus 2. Then to get to the next one, we'd have to add two more. So if we started from the first one, we actually have to add four to get to the third even integer. So we're going to write our third integer as x plus four. Now we're ready to write our equation. It says if the first, so here's the first one, and the third, so our third one is x plus four, are added, so if we were to add these things together, the result is, or equals, 22 less than, so we're going to be taking 22 away from something, 3 times, so we're going to be multiplying 3 times something, 3 times the second integer. Well, our second integer here is x plus 2. So now we have our equation written. Now it's a matter of solving our equation. So we're going to, we can combine our x's over here to get 2x plus 4. On the right, we can distribute to get 3x plus 6 and then minus 22. Well, on the right, I'm going to go ahead and recopy the left. On the right, we can combine our 6 and our negative 22 to get 3x minus 16. And now we can put together our x's. I'm going to move my 2x to the right by subtracting 2x from both sides. So we're going to end up with 4 equals x minus 16. And then we can add 16 to get x all alone. So, oops, that should be 16. So 20 equals x. Well, now we're not done because we need to now put that into context. That tells us that our first integer, or x, is 20, which means the next one has to be 22, and the third one has to be 24. Three consecutive even integers.